Heidi Ho, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the mass percents of iron and oxygen in iron to oxide. And the first thing we're going to do is find the mass, so I've made a little table. Let's do it. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements I see. So inside of iron to oxide we have iron and oxygen. Then we write down the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come into play. If there's no subscript, assume it's a 1. So there's one iron and there's also one oxygen. Then we're simply going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. Those masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Here's iron, 55.85. Here's oxygen, 16. So those are the masses we're going to write down. So this is 55.85. Oxygen is 16. And then all we have to simply do to find the total mass of the element in the compound is just simply multiply the number of atoms by the mass. So this is going to be simply uh, 55. 0.85 and then for oxygen it's simply 16 and then when you add those two together that's when you find the total all right so the total mass here of iron two oxide is going to be 71.85 and there it is there's the mass now right so we had to find the mass first the total mass that is of the entire compound now we can find those percents I'm simply going to add another column to the table easy peasy from here bam so what we're going to do to find that mass percent is take the total mass of the iron the 55.85 and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, which was 71.85. Well, that's 17. 71.85. Oh boy, that's not good. Hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Um, anyway, uh, this simple percent calculation part over whole times 100. Also, don't worry about the units because they would both cancel. Whatever unit this had, gram per molar, AMU, should have been the same as this. So they would have canceled and percents are unit less anyway. Enough of that. Let's get on to the number. All right, so the percent here is roughly about 77.73%. All right. And then, same thing for oxygen. We're going to take the total, 16, divide them by 71.85, the total of the entire compound, multiply it by 100. You're looking at this column, by the way. The only reason why this column is identical to this column is because there's only one atom of each. All right? And then when we do that, calculation is just simply going to be 22.27 uh, uh, here, percent. All right? And if done correctly, hopefully these add up to 100, and which it does. So thank goodness. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning. I really do appreciate it. Now you know how to find the percent compositions of iron and oxygen in iron to oxide. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Check out our channel. We have thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics, mathematics. We got other stuff coming out, organic chemistry. We got biology, statistics, all kinds of good stuff for you. All right. Look forward to helping you with more stuff. Take care.